Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is a discussion with Dr. Adarsh Bhimraj, who is an infectious diseases specialist at the Cleveland Clinic Foundation in Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States. Uh, the purpose of this discussion is to look at various treatment options available for COVID-19. Uh, I'd like to point out again that our goal is to shed light on the information that is available to us here in the U.S. Uh, we are not making specific treatment recommendations for any given patient. That's up to their treating physicians wherever in the world they are. What are your thoughts on tocilizumab? Same questions. Does it work? On who does it work? Does it save lives? Does it reduce the suffering in the disease? What would you say about tocilizumab, others? Yeah, tocilizumab has been a very interesting drug, Madhu. Again, there have been so many trials uh, and uh, trying to look at the trials and making sense of it, uh, to be honest, was not that easy. But if I have to distill down uh, the conclusions, the more newer studies uh, which were done with tocilizumab have shown that if patients are already on steroids for severe disease, what do I mean by that? People are already receiving oxygen, uh, they're admitted to the hospital or critical disease. People who need uh, breathing machines and mechanical ventilators or in a critical care unit. When steroids were added, and if you think the steroids itself are not working, and again, adding to tocilizumab might be slightly beneficial. Now, when you look at the studies, uh, should you wait for a while after the steroids? How long should you wait? Again, were they given? The, you can't really tease out the details. I wish we could. But if I have to, in really, really sick people who are already on steroids, adding to tocilizumab might be beneficial. It seems like clearly tocilizumab is a drug that we would use in patients who are admitted to the hospital who are quite sick. Uh, this is not for someone who's requiring a couple of liters of oxygen in the hospital, certainly not for somebody who doesn't even need hospitalization. The data is a little confusing, but uh, like where would I use it as a clinician? Right. Like if I have a patient who came in sick and I've started steroids, uh, and say 24 hours, they're really getting worse and they're going to the ICU and I think they're going to get critically ill or they're already in the ICU because they didn't get better and I'm intubating them or putting on a breathing machine. That's when I'll use Tesla's map.